welcome to day number two of our Alaska trip. Alright, good morning everybody. It is day number two here in Anchorage, Alaska. Yesterday was a travel day and we didn't really vlog very much because we were just on a plane for about eight hours yesterday, so didn't really vlog that much. Um, but we're here in Anchorage, Alaska. Today's plan is to go pick up the RV and head down to the campsite. Don't remember the name, but I'll let you know that later. Uh, but yeah, it's the one thing that's really unpredictable is the weather. It's unusually hot right now. They're setting record highs for heat. Like We just left and it was 96 degrees, and right now it's nice, but it's probably like 60 or so. So the $100 question right now, for those that are not Alaskans and did not grow up learning this in spelling class, how do you spell ptarmigan? Because we are going to ptarmigan campground today. So we, and Aunt Layla gave one hint, which was there's a silent letter. Avery? How do you spell what? it? I don't know. Try. Um. I think it's not going to be an H. That's what I thought. A tarmig. I think it was T A R M I G H A N. Tarmigan. Yeah. You said it wasn't close. It's not T A R M I. Maybe P T. No, that's not right. It's all done. Tar. I don't know. T A R Tarmigan. So in Alaska, we. How about C T? Is there C T A R? Okay. So. Yes, that? I was right. P. So it has to be at the beginning. It can't be anywhere else. P T A R. Why do you keep adding a T? Because it's ptarmigan. Tar. Oh. Tar. I thought you were talking about a T in the middle. No, at the beginning. Yeah, I don't know why you thought there would be a C in the middle. I don't know. Because it's because <laughs> Alaska has weird letters. No, Austin is weird. Austin is weird. <clears throat> I think it's P T A R M I G A N. Yeah, like pterodactyl. How about that? Yeah, like pterodactyl. P, P T P T A R M I G A N. <laughs> Hundred bucks. I mean, I no. We didn't. No. Yeah, we no. together. We get $100. You guys had two hints. Fifty bucks per hint, so zero dollars. <laughs> Okay, so we came to the local grocery store, which is called Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer. Um, we did not pack very well. Um, it is, it's a little warm, and so we're having to get some short sleeves and some sandals. We actually packed for a little bit cooler weather, so good thing is, is that we're gonna get some groceries for the campfire, or for the campgrounds, and then we're also gonna try to see if they have any um, sales on shirts since we're gonna to have to get some short sleeves. So we found this earlier and it says asset protection device installed in the front wheels up here. So it says shopping carts may stop unexpectedly at exit doors and carts will stop at, hey, will stop if taken beyond the perimeter of the parking lot. So basically if you go past the perimeter of the parking lot, um, it, the wheels will stop and like you can't push it, which is really So you cool. can't steal carts? Yeah. <laughs> We just got down to the grocery store and we're getting everybody loaded up. Harrison, say hi. Hi. Say hey. hi. Hi. And we're gonna go get the RV. We're gonna go try to get the RV early. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Like you some you some yogurt though. You do have some yogurt. That is right. And the muck on it. And the muck on it. 
And there is a monkey on it. Okay, okay we'll see you there. Let me shake it. All right, so a little bit of an update. Things did not go as well as what we had planned. Um, last you saw, Avery checked in and mentioned we were going to get the RV. We went to ABC Rentals, I think is what it's called. Um, and we were told to call about, we were told to call at 10.30 to see if they were available. <clears throat> if we could pick it up early and they weren't uh, originally they said our check-in time was uh, was one o'clock is when we could get the okay there we go oh I'm not hurt <laughs> we could get the um, get the RV um, so we like hey you know we went to the grocery store and like hey, let's just go a little bit early we'll get there at about 12 or 12 30 see if it's available we'll pick it up and then we'll head out to the campgrounds um, so no, that wasn't the case. So apparently, so right now it is, all right, it's two o'clock. We just spent the last hour. Mm -mm. The last almost two hours. Almost, yeah, oh yeah, that's right, almost two hours. We only spent the last two hours at the rental place. Um, it's so chaotic. There's so many people walking around and you just have no idea like who's doing what. The communication is just, really subpar you have no idea until the guy actually that you're checking in with says hey let's go out to the to the unit and we'll do a walk around other than that like you have no idea so you know we were told to come back in about an hour and because we're waiting on a an rv to come in the rv of our size to come in get uh cleaned and the maintenance repair and, and everything so so we're back at the house now for a little bit waiting to see when they call us. The main thing with ABC motorhomes, or just in general, is it's an all day. So you think you're gonna get out right at one o'clock, you're not. Um, so you wanna plan that day to be in the city you're picking that motorhome up. So if you luck out and you get it right away, wonderful. But for us, I wish that they would have been clear that we would not have been able to pick up our motorhome from anywhere between 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. They did not specify that. We were on the phone and they told us by noon, so we could have done a lot of things here in Anchorage. Um, so that's the one downside. We would have been okay like waiting because we all would have planned our day. The upside is that the family that we're gonna hang out with today, they actually had a work thing, so they're still doing that. Um, and we have a house, her house, that we can come hang out at and do some family bonding time. So the kids, Harrison took a nap while we were there. Um, the two girls are right now sleeping and resting and <laughs> We're gonna have some brood in Alaska Hefenweiser. Ooh. And just kind of relax and chill and make the most of today. Cause we could let it get us down. And at first we were kind of getting annoyed cause there's so many other things we could have done or gotten to eat. We ate at Arby's, but I love Arby's in Alaska. It's just like, that's Alaska's fast food in my opinion. So it's just like the whole day's wasted. I mean, cause we're just waiting and waiting. You feel, yeah, we feel that way. So. So we and might the traffic to... in the summertime is always really busy anyway, so mm -hmm. like, we have no idea what what the traffic's going to be like. So anyways. Yes, but we're going to make the most. We're going to just relax a little bit. That way tonight we can be geared up to go camping. And the good thing is that tomorrow we don't have any plans, so we can kind of just do what we want to do and make the most of everything. Ah. But a little discouraged. So I think in the future next time we'll know like one person to go check in at the RV and the rest of us can just go kind of have a day in the city, so. You guys ready? Yeah! Say yeah! After we finally got the air conditioner working. Some of the mountains in Alaska right now there's a huge forest fire going on and 
So it's very hazy, very smoky. You dig it with the smoke. Um, you throw it to dry, so you definitely are, we're drinking a lot of water. Um, but I'm going to show you just so you can see. Normally, you can see the roads over in so many mountains right now, and it's so sad to know that you can't right now. So I'm going to try to show you guys this um, with the camera. So see that? Look how smoggy that is. You normally be able to see that clear. For those of you that think that all of our vlogs are all happy the moments, this happens sometimes too. Alright, so we just made a quick little pit stop at Girdwood. Marissa went to go get some drinks. Um, I gotta be honest, I was a little scared driving this big old thing. Um, but it really is not too bad. But I will say this, there's too many rules that I have to remember about driving on the highways. But, Overall, we're doing pretty well. A little pit stop real quick. About about, we got about an hour to go before we get to the campgrounds. Here we go. So far, so good. Alright, so we just got to Ptarmigan Campground. Uncle Sean has the fire going. Eating Cheetos. Eating Cheetos, healthy diet. Marissa and the girls are out camp or out uh, exploring. Right there. And for the record, for all of you that are wondering, it's 9.30 at night and it is Pretty bright. I think the sun was actually over there. All right, it is currently 10.45 in the evening. And I'm doing some photography and it's so good. Sorry. And we are on a walk at the, what's it called? What's this place called? Uh, you know what it's called. Anyways, we're on a walk. It's 10.45 in the oh, evening. That was so good. Pretty bright daylight. Aunt Layla is holding Harrison, Marissa, and Eliana. Look, look, look. And then there's Avery. Look at this picture. Oh, that is cool. Anyways, yeah, so we are off to see. The wizard? We're, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> we are on a hunt to find the Alaska. The we're on a hunt off to find the Alaska state flower. Pretty. Look at those flowers. Aunt Layla, what is the Alaska State Flower? Well, forget me not. Forget me not. Okay. Didn't forget. Uh -huh. I did forget. Ooh, look at that creek. Ooh, check out this creek. Tell me if it's too hard. You have to really pump. <laughs> 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 
Come on, Rissa. Come on. Put your legs into it. Anyway, it's a lot of from here. Empty <laughs> pumps are really <clears throat> How cool is that, buddy? It's like a little water pump. All right, so the plan for today is to just hang out a little bit. We did have reservations at the Turning Heads Kennel, uh, but because it's so warm, because it's so warm, uh, they actually asked if we could move our reservation to the morning instead. So Harrison and I and Eliana and Marissa we're out for a little bit of a walk. Sean and Layla are back cooking some breakfast uh, with Avery. Uh, so yeah, so we're up for a little stroll this morning. Plan was to go to the kennel, uh, but we actually changed that. So we're gonna eat some breakfast. We're gonna pack on up, and then we're gonna head on into Seward, and then we're gonna find another place to camp for the night, and then we're gonna go to the kennel tomorrow. So yeah, let's go eat some breakfast. I just finished my delicious meal and now it's time to go do my chores. So my chores are doing the dishes. Let's do the dishes. Oh god. Dishes. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is um. So watch yourself. Give. Yeah. give All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're trying to get through here, and this is kind of adventurous. Look at that. We are ready for adventure time. Hey, Eliana, you want with me? All right, so we are on a hike, obviously. Sean did not let me get on his back. Eliana's got a ride, though. This is cool. Man, you can hear the creek already. Avoid confrontation. Don't surprise bears or make noise. Hike during the daylight hours. Odors attract bears. Deposit garbage in the refuse containers or store as you would. Never bury it. And lastly, dogs antagonize bears. Put a leash on your dog. And that is a friendly 
reminder from your U.S. National Force.